This lesson will show you how to understand the diff in Git Kraken Client. Diffs are a key way for you to explore your commit history as they tell you what code was added, removed, and you have different ways of interpreting the diffs um, thanks to hunk, inline, and split view. Finally, I'll show you how to diff multiple commits in Git Kraken Client, which is pretty similar to diffing multiple branches, and I'll show you how what I mean by that. Okay, here I am in Git Kraken Client, and I'll move my picture here to the left so that you'll see that as I switch, as I select different commits in the graph, you will notice that the commit panel here on the right will update with the different files that were modified, added, renamed, or removed. So let me go back to this merge commit, for example. So these were all the files that were modified in this commit. This is the snapshot. And I can click into any of these files to view the diff. So let me move. So I'm looking at the standalone.md file. And it looks like there are some pretty extensive changes here. Um, anything that reflects text that was removed will be highlighted in red. Anything that represents text that was added will be highlighted in green. And you'll notice that there are some parts that are extra green or extra red. Uh, that's the word diffing that's happening here, which tells you what specifically was added or removed. Now, we have different ways for you to um, look at all of the changes here. And currently, we are in what's called hunk view. So if you notice here where I'm clicking my mouse, I hover over this icon. We are in hunk view. This separates the file into different chunks. Uh, that represents the sections of code that were modified. I can switch though to inline view. Inline view will give you the entire file and you can see the diff, you can see the ch code changes as they were happening within context of the entire file. So that might be helpful in providing you context into whether or not um, a change made sense. And then you can also switch to split view, which is what I like to call the before and after view. So here's how things looked before, and here's how they looked after. And you can scroll through and see um, within the context of the whole file, before and after, here's what was added, here's what was removed. You'll notice that the diffs will provide you with um, a file minimap, which shows you which parts of the code you're in, and you can scroll to maybe where another um, section of code was either added or removed. So those are the different ways that you can view any diff um, for any file. So I can rinse and repeat and do that for any of these files, for any, uh, for any of these files in this commit. And then you can also do something really cool here. So you can use the shift or command key. So I'll use, I'll use command. So I have just selected two commits. So I have this commit, this merge commit, merge pool request 68 commit and this renaming enterprises to on-premise commit. And that has created what we call a combined diff. So now when I, I can see what changed between these two commits, it looks like the difference between these two commits are these two files. And I am still in split view, but I can see that there was one thing added here. And I can see that there was one line modified um, here at the top as well. And you can continue to select different commits to continue diffing between multiple commits in case you're curious about like, well, what's the difference between this commit, this commit, and this commit. Functionally speaking, you're really looking at the difference between, you know, depending on how far apart they are, but hopefully this will help you diff commits or even diff branches because branches, remember, are just pointers to specific commits. Um, you can view the merge diff for whatever commits you have selected, and you can use the navigation here in the commit panel to explore the diff for any of these files. All right, that's how you can work with diffs and get cracking client. I hope that helps you explore the code.